Neuropeptide Y has become recently um, implicated in numerous cellular responses under chronic stress conditions because this nervous system actually gets ramped up. And when the system gets ramped up, it releases um, tons of neurotransmitter, which actually causes differential effects other than what it should do under normal conditions. Um, these would include uh, increased um, blood vessel sprouting or, or angiogenesis, um, also uh, increased cellular proliferation or cellular growth, new, more numbers of cells, and also um, cellular migration or the movement of cells throughout the body. Uh, women with a familial history of um, breast cancer um, actually become more stressed out to normal stressors that mo most of us would actually find innocuous or, or not stressful. Um, and also, um, in, uh, in, in, in the breast, there's a huge innervation or there's a, um, a very dense supply of these nerves. So it would just follow that neuropeptide Y may be released in greater amounts in the, in the female breast um, under stressful conditions. And if there are cancer cells prevalent, and if they respond to this neuropeptide Y, then it quite possibly could be that neuropeptide Y contributes to um, the progression of the disease. We went through a series of experiments to determine the, uh, the functional consequence of activating these receptors on, uh, on the breast cancer cells. So we looked at neuropeptide Y's effect on cell growth as well as cell migration. And these are two important, um, uh, two important steps in uh, primary tumor growth as well as uh, in, in, in metastasis.